All right, today artists, we are going to do a one point perspective drawing. So as you had learned before, we need tools like a pencil, eraser, and a ruler. We're gonna start by drawing a horizon line. Put it approximately midway. I like to do it a little bit lower than the midway point. And I'm just gonna kind of do like a rolling hill line. I'm gonna push pretty hard with my pencil, but I don't want you guys to push really hard with your pencil because a lot of our lines we make will be erased. Now we're doing one point perspective. And as you learn, perspective is the, makes things look like they're vanishing or going away from us in uh, space. So my vanishing point, put your vanishing point, not right in the middle, just a little off to either side of the middle, not really far over on the edge, just a little off from the middle, all right? We're gonna start by drawing a street. So now you're gonna need your ruler and we're gonna draw one side of our street from the vanishing point to one corner here. Don't make it go off the side, make it go off the bottom. And then this one over here, we want them both to go on the opposite side of the vanishing point. I'm gonna make this side of my street a little bit wider. Okay, so this is going to be my street. Now I'm going to do a sidewalk. So for my sidewalk, again, all my lines that go back in space are going to go towards that vanishing point. That's going to be sidewalk. And I'm gonna do the same thing here from this point of the vanishing point. Obviously, as my sidewalk gets closer, it's wider. Now to make the sidewalk lines, we want those lines to be perpendicular with the edge of our paper or the horizon line. So I'm gonna use my ruler and kind of line it up as best I can along the edge of my paper and put lines from both edges of my sidewalk. Now what's gonna to happen to those sidewalk pieces is they get further and further away from us. Hopefully you said they'll get smaller and smaller. Just as things go back in space, go back away from us, they're smaller. So as you move your ruler up, keeping those lines parallel, make sure each section of your sidewalk is a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller than the last one, okay? Now we're gonna do some buildings, but we're gonna make our city futuristic. I call this the futuristic city. So we're going to make some really funky shaped fun buildings, maybe even a spaceship. But first I'm going to show you how to do a actual building in one point perspective. Okay. There's my sidewalk. If you wanted to put lines in the street, you definitely could do that too. Remember again, they'll be smaller in the back and shorter and then as they get closer to you, they'll be further apart and longer. Okay, now on the side over where I have more space for my vanishing point to the edge of my paper, I'm gonna draw a building. And I'm gonna draw this building, I want you guys to draw this building above the horizon line, down to the ground and over. We're gonna start just by drawing a rectangle. So the Rectangle is going to be parallel to the bottom and parallel perpendicular to the side of our paper and the edge of our paper. Okay, so what I mean by that is the way the lines of the sidewalk went, that's how the bottom of our building is gonna to go too. So we're gonna line, again, line your ruler up along the edge of the paper and just gently slide it up to where you want the bottom of your building to be. Maybe about right there. And then I'm gonna draw a line I'm gonna make my building go to the sidewalk. Now, the next lines, the sides of the building, of course we all know that the bottom and the side of the building makes a 90 degree angle. So this line that goes vertical, the lines that go vertical, vertical are gonna be parallel with the sides of the paper. So again, you wanna to try to line that ruler up and make it as parallel as you can. So if your ruler is doing this, you know that your building is gonna be, is gonna be shaped like a triangle. It's gonna be leaning. So make sure your ruler is going up as straight as you can, as horizontal as you can to make it go past your horizon line. 
Okay. And then I'm going to go from the other edge straight up. Okay. So I've got the bottom, the sides of the, my building, and now I'm going to make the top of the building. And the top of the building is parallel or perpendicular, wait, parallel with the bottom, right? So I'm going to slide it up and then connect those corners. Okay, that's the front side of my building. Now I can erase my horizon line because I won't see my horizon line through my building. Okay, now we're gonna make this side of the building because that's the side of the building we'll see because it is on that side closest to the vanishing point. I won't see this side of the building because it's going towards the vanishing point this direction. So to make it, I go from the top corner here and I draw what's called a guideline from that corner down to my vanishing point. And you guys will draw it lightly because you'll end up erasing part of it. But there's my guideline. Now I actually don't have to draw a guideline down here because my building's right on the edge of my sidewalk. And then, the so this is the side of my building, but I have to draw the end of it, the back line of it. And that back line will be parallel with this line here. So again, I'm gonna take my ruler, line it up, slide it over, and where I want my building to end, I'll draw my line. And then again, I'm gonna erase my horizon line. I won't see it through the building. Then you can also erase those guidelines that overlap, okay? So that's basically, I just drew a cube. There's my building. Now I'm gonna put a door on my building on this side and the door is going to be just a rectangle just like the front side of the building here. So again, I wanna make these lines 90 degree angles to the bottom of the building and draw my door, parallel floor, parallel with the top of the door. So there's my door. Now I'm gonna put some windows over here on this side of the building. Notice the top of the building is going towards the vanishing point and the bottom of the building is going to the vanishing point on this side. So the top of my windows will also go to my vanishing point as well as the bottom of my windows. All right, so I'm gonna make the side lines of my windows. My windows are gonna go through the horizon line. So there's one side, this will be the other side. They need to be parallel to the edge of your building. From the top corner of this window, I'm gonna draw a line towards my vanishing point to connect to this line. And from the bottom edge of my window to the vanishing point, again, I'm gonna draw a line. Now I didn't draw that line long enough for the edge of my window, so I'm just going to extend it down to connect. All right, there's my window. So that's basically how you would do a building in one point perspective. Now we're gonna do a fun building. So over on this side, you guys can make any shape you like. Keep it still straight lines. So I'm gonna start down here and make the bottom of the building. And then I'm just going to make a fun shape like this. Maybe it's zigzags, and then it's gonna come out this way. So I'm just making a fun shape. You can use your ruler, you can freehand it. It's completely up to you. Don't make it too close to your vanishing point. Push it off to the side a little bit because it makes it more difficult to make it look three-dimensional if it's right on top of your vanishing point. So basically I just drew the front side of this building the same way I did here. This is my shape. Now I'm gonna erase my horizon line here. Now here's the way to figure out how to make this look three-dimensional. All the corners that are closest to the vanishing point that do not go through the building, like this corner would go through the building, this one would go through, these ones would go through, 
but these ones don't go through the building, you're going to draw guidelines towards the vanishing points. Okay? So again, all the points that are closest to the vanishing point and don't go through the building, you're going to draw guidelines to the vanishing point from. So here's a corner to my vanishing point. Okay, the next corner. I just start at the bottom and I work my way up to the top. Now this line, I might not even see the guideline because it looks like it actually lines up right with my vanishing point, which it does. So I'm just going to see a sliver of that edge right there. All right, so this is my horizon line. So I want to erase my horizon line there so I don't get confused thinking that it is a guideline for my building. All right, now the next step is to figure out what depth you want your building to be at and you're going to draw it. So this shape of the building here, this is 90 degrees to the ground. So from this guideline to this guideline, I need to make a line that is parallel with that line. So this is one side of my building. All right, and then from this point, this line that goes up, the edge of this needs to be parallel with the edge here. So I can take my ruler and then slide it down at the same angle and draw it to the next guideline. And then now this one on mine's tricky because this guideline is so close to the vanishing point, but it's going to come down. This, this one's going to go straight up and meet right there. Okay. And then this guideline is going straight across. So basically I just have to figure out how thick this is and then draw this line is straight across. This line will also go straight across and connect here, right here at this part of my building. And then again, I can erase all of those guidelines. So now I have this very strange shaped building over here, which I really like. Now, I'm actually going to put uh, like a, a punch out here, make the building look see-through. So to do that, we're just gonna do like we did the door here. And I'm just gonna make a rectangle. And again, I'm making sure all my lines are perpendicular and parallel. So now my building here this is like a garage going through my building. But I have to add one more detail to make it look like it's actually going through the building. Because back here, you're going to see a line from the corner of the building here to the floor. You're gonna see this back wall. So go from this corner to your vanishing point, and you're gonna draw a guideline in between, not from the corner, but the door. So see where the door is? So that is the corner of the, this is the floor, this is the wall of the building. Then I can erase this front line. So now it looks like my building, like you could drive through it. Okay, it's a drive through. Maybe it's a car wash. All right, now I'm gonna do a square, a little tiny square up here floating above this building, just for fun. Cause like I said, this is like outer space, city of the future. So we're going to make another small rectangle up here. Just start by making a rectangle. Now, because this shape is above the horizon line, we're going to see the bottom of it. But first we'll start by making the side edge here. And again, those guidelines going towards your vanishing point. So there's the guidelines for the side and I'm going to 
line it up, figure out how long I want it, about there. So there's one, one edge. Now I need to make the bottom of it. So from this corner here on the bottom, I'm going to do a guideline to my vanishing point. And then from the corner here, going straight across, parallel with that line, I will draw a line and that will be the back edge of my floor. The back edge of the bottom of this building. And then erase those guidelines. Okay, now just for fun, I'm gonna connect this building to the top of this building using a cylinder. So the top part of the cylinder is going to be a, just a straight line because it connects flat, but then I'm gonna curve it like this. And then from here, I'm going to bring it down and then it's going to curve, it's gonna curve over like this, like it's a tube. Okay. And then I'll erase those lines. All right. That's just a good start. Let's see over here, maybe I'll put a little UFO over here. I'm gonna do a little oval. And then, a, whew, excuse me, lines. Another little oval shape here. Maybe some lines. And then maybe there's a person here on the roof saying, take me, take me home, I'm done with work. And instead of cars as taxi cabs, we have spaceships. And the spaceship is coming to take our little future man away. All right, you guys keep practicing, keep drawing some fun shapes, connecting them. That is basically one point perspective. Next time we'll come in, we'll Sharpie and we'll color it all in.